Right. Um, so now moving on to item 15, Christchurch City Holdings. So from here, um, we'll do the Christchurch City Holdings um, quarter two report, and then we'll move into public excluded, deal with the public excluded agenda, um, and then come out of public excluded and do the remainder of the open agenda at that time. So I'll vacate the chair. Sam, you'll come in, given that this is um, CCHL, um, and we'll proceed from there. Uh, I think we've got Tony, Paul, and Linda. I don't know, Paul, if you've... Linda's here. So Tony... Oh, sorry, Tony, yeah, Paul, and Jeremy. Tony. Yeah. Yes. Jeremy. Uh, we have Paul one row and Jeremy Smith. Great. Okay. Excellent. Okay, well, Linda, do you want to kick it off and then um, we'll go from there? Sure. So we have uh, CCHL's quarter two performance report. Uh, it shows progress against the SOI targets for the year and... Uh, sitting behind that is the ongoing challenges the group faces um, from the COVID impacts. Hand over to CCHL. Great. So, uh, Jeremy, I don't know how you want to play it, but does someone want to run through just at a high level yep. what you need to and we'll go from there? Absolutely. I'll make a couple of brief comments. I do realise there's some time constraints. Uh, and then we'll hand over to Tony. She's got some very brief comments and we can take questions from there. Uh, the, you'll see from the report that we're actually broadly on target at a group level. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a mixed story at the subsidiary level, of course. The challenges remain of COVID, uh, and the companies are actually addressing those very well, but there are some externalities that, uh, that will be incredibly challenging, I think, over the, in the short term. So one of the risks that, that uh, everyone's got an eye on, of course, is absenteeism. So significant absenteeism could, uh, could well and truly affect some of our subsidiaries. And then the longer term challenges, uh, what is the impact on the economy and particularly on uh, those parts of the economy that impact on our subsidiaries. Uh, I would add though that, look, our overall view is that we're, we're pretty well positioned to, to manage these challenges. We've uh, managed them all fairly well so far. And that's really off the back of that prudent approach that we take to the financial position of, of at group level. And so you won't be seeing any deviation from that in the short term. That's, uh, that's how we will continue going. That's what's positioned us uh, uh, as strongly as we are at the moment. So without any uh, further comments on that, Tony, I'll hand over to you. Okay, Thank you. thanks Jeremy. Uh, so just a few comments on profitability. Um, so COVID restrictions and border closures continue to take their toll, especially on the airport, which won't meet its financial targets this year. Um, and on city care, due to the long lockdown in Auckland, as around 30% of city care's operating revenue is generated out of Auckland. Um, Enable was also challenged by COVID restrictions. Uh, the quarter one uh, level four lockdown impacted uh, revenue and connections. Uh, but despite this, Enable is close to meeting its revenue and connections targets and is on track to deliver all other financial targets. Um, Orion and LPC are ahead of their profitability targets. Orion saw higher on peak volumes and revenue, um, and LPC achieved record level container volumes. Um, also just a comment on sustainability. Uh, the airport announced its Kofi Park solar farm in December. Phase one of the 30 year plan for the park will deliver enough electricity to power 30,000 homes, which is around 20% of Christchurch's current residential electricity use. So a very significant project for Christchurch. Um, that's all what comments I had, so I'm happy to open to questions on the dashboards. Great, thank you very much. Does anyone have, I mean, it's a, it's a very good report and it explains a lot of the issues and, and the like. But does anyone have any questions? No? Okay, that's that's really good. Um, well, look, it's probably a good opportunity to also acknowledge Paul, because um, Paul, I'm, the, it's my understanding this will be your last sort of public meeting with us, I guess, as Chief Executive of CCHL. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for what you've always given us really good advice, and I think it's been pretty blunt, which um, don't take that the wrong way, but I think it's been really useful. So when you've pushed back, uh, we have respected that. So yeah, we wish you definitely all the best for your next endeavours 
and I, and I know that you'll sort of continue to keep involved in the council uh, and, and sort of the wider community where you can. Yeah, thank you very much, Sam. And without um, taking too much time, because I've got nothing prepared, thank you all for your um, uh, support over the years. And uh, I really enjoyed the challenge and really enjoyed um, the opportunities that uh, you've all given me. So uh, really appreciate it and really enjoyed it and hope to stay in touch with all of you. It's been fun. And uh, Christchurch is a, is a village, so I'm sure we'll come across each other again. So thank you. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. So I'm happy to move that. Jimmy looks like he wants to second it. Uh, any discussion? All in favour? Against? That's carried. Great. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so now we, I think we're going to resolve to exclude the public. Yeah, and we're just going to keep Jeremy, Paul and Tony as part of the CCHL work. So uh, can we, I'm happy to move that. Tim's happy to second it. Uh, any discussion? All in favour? Against? That's carried. Great. I think that's carried.